वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सी रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ ए प्लेन वेव व्हेन इट इज रिफ्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम रेयर टू डेंसर मीडियम लेट ए बी इज द प्लेन वेव इंसिडेंट प्लेन वेव दिस पार्ट इज रेयर मीडियम दिस पार्ट इज डेंसर मीडियम फिर लाइट स्पीड इज v1 लाइट स्पीड इज v2 मीडियम रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स n1 मीडियम रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स n2 नाउ After refraction, obviously it is traveling from zero to density. It is bending towards the normal. Let this is angle of refraction. I is angle of incidence. This is ninety. Obviously this will be ninety minus I. That means I will tell this is I. This is R ninety. Ninety minus R. This is ninety means this will be R. Now, let us see. From the triangle A B C. From the triangle A B C, sin i P by H, B C by A C. From triangle. A E C sin R P by H A E by A C. Now dividing two equations sin I by sin R B C by A C A E by A C. So I got. B C by A E. Let at time tau B is traveling B to C. A is traveling. This wave is traveling from A to E at same time. So from this case, what we know actually, speed is distance by time. So distance is speed into time. So this B C. This distance, I can write. This is v one tau. Speed in this medium is v one. A e speed is here v two, so v two tau. So putting these values in equation three, I will get sin i by sin r equal to v one tau by v two tau. So that is equal to v1 by v2. Again, what is the definition of absolute refractive index? C by v. Speed of light in free space, speed of light in medium. So from here, v equal to c by n. That means v1 equal to c by n1. V2 equal to c by n2. So v1 by v2 equal to c by n1 by C by n two, that is equal to n two by n one. Now from equation four and five, I can write sine i by sine r is nothing but equal to n two by n one. This proves our Snell's law. I can move further to find out the distance to prove frequency is constant. Let here the V C distance is lambda one. Let here A distance is lambda two. So equation three can be written as sine i by sine r equal to B C by A E is equal to lambda one by lambda two. But we know v equal to lambda nu. That means v one equal to lambda one nu one. V two equal to lambda two nu two. So if I put this, I will get v one by v two equal to lambda one nu one by lambda two nu two. Now if I compare these equations. 
I will get sin i by sin r is equal to v1 by v2 from equation 9 that is lambda 1 mu 1 by lambda 2 nu 2 again from equation 7 that is lambda 1 by lambda 2. So equation 10 is valid if and only if nu 1 is equal to nu 2. That means nu 1 is constant. So this is the extra questions they can ask. Thank you.